Dear students, we are going to talk about which books, what books to refer for getting a top rank at IITJ in this particular video or in this segment. Uh, just to note and just I go ahead with this video, uh, just a small disclaimer that the books mentioned by me in this particular video are not exhaustive sets of the best books available in the market. Right, so do not have any prejudice that I have not included some of the books. So there might be other books which are available which are also one of the best, but this is an individual choice, right? This is what I believe that uh, I have seen so many students uh, doing these uh, books which are there in the list and have cracked it big under 100, under 50, or let's say under 200 category of ranks at ITJ. And by no means I want to disregard any hard work put in by any author, maybe Indian or in uh, outside uh, India author if the book is not mentioned in the list. So I, it might be that a book is really good and I am not uh, aware of it. So please uh, do not take it otherwise. All right. So if you want, you can just write it uh, a mail to me discussing about a book which is not mentioned and you have listened about that book from 100 people around you. Around you. Okay. So beginning with a particular issue that there are two category again of students, students with coaching or without coaching. So before we move ahead and people who have already joined some coaching, I would make a request here. Uh, if you have joined coaching, you must be provided by the coaching material, right? So I would first of all say that before you immediately jump on to buying books, right? Heap of books is not going to help you. Please remember this. So heap of books is actually which 99% people actually do. 99% students are very happy to have a huge list of books in front of them which makes them, I don't know why they make them feel proud that uh, they will be now able to clear IIT but uh, this is a complete uh, misnomer, complete, complete, I don't know what to say about this. But if you are going to coaching, you must be provided with the coaching material, I would say this is more than sufficient. This is more than sufficient, believe me. If every institute has done a really hard work to get you the best material by either by copying it from somebody else or by making by uh, on their own right so in any way they are going to help you with this right it is more than sufficient it might be possible that uh, you are going to a coaching but still you are not able to find sufficient then I would even then say you are into then you can look into this without coaching category where they now require help of reference books right so if you are going to a coaching institute and if you feel that your coaching material already has some standard, I don't feel that you will require any external help from anywhere, right? Believe me on this. So people who are, let's say, in FITG, which are some standard organizations, right? FITG, uh, Rezo, or LN, or uh, let's say Vidya Mandir, uh, they all have really very decent material and I have might have missed... Uh, very big names here but this is not again an exhaustive list okay so people who are studying in some of the institutes if they feel that their coaching material is giving them results they are able to understand and clarify their concepts so how do you will check whether your material is productive for you or not that whether you are able to clarify each concept right you are able to clarify each concept in terms of both conceptual clarity and in terms of application so when i mean by application that means you are able to solve the questions right you are able to solve questions in when you practice at home and also at the examinations right though examinations is a complete different scenario you might be able to solve questions at home but you might not be able to solve questions in the examination so this is a complete different scenario okay now let me just go quickly with the list of books and let's cut it, this video out so we just start with physics so physics is a straight set of pattern which i believe every student has to follow and every if you ask anybody they will prescribe only these set of books so i would say if you are a complete beginner so they i, I have categorized into three categories beginners so beginners are people who are very weak in physics right so first of all you have to analyze yourself in but you know that is very important where do you fall right do not just directly jump on to the last particular set of books because this is generally being done by the topper of your school or your topper of your batch that that is not the right approach you have to analyze where do you stand so first of all if you are weak in physics what you should actually start off with is reading theory in ncrt and solve very basic books like in uh, sl Arora. i would say it is better than pradeep it might have some errors right it it has some errors but our target is to just do some basics right and then quickly move on to this uh, not to mention, but it's Verma, the Bible of Physics, which every Indian uh, aspirant for IITJ does. Brilliant book to solve. 
make sure that you do not see the solutions of hc verma believe me this if you are seeing the solutions then you have actually ruined this book you have completely lost the track so you have not to see the solution in fact you don't have to see the solutions of any particular question but big no to hc verma if you are not able to solve hc verma on your own that means you have to go to back to this particular book right your uh, physics is in a bad state and if you want to solve a higher level book so hc verma i believe is a good book for uh, advanced but it is something between your je mains and advanced level though you can clear advanced on the basis of that okay set of books by dc pandey so this is uh, again a very generic book so all the books now have been segregated at our time it used to be a common one or two books in volume 1 and volume 2 now they come chapter wise or you know in uh, Uh, electromagnetism on in that sort so this is another set of important books which you can do but i would say keep this order keep this order flowing that if you are tick marked sl aroda you are able to you know solve this very easily move to hc verma and then move to dc pande do not just directly jump to dc pande and start solving questions by seeing their solutions this is not going to help you if you are done with dc pande then think of erdov so erdov is a book which will help you make your job of finding a difficult question in the exam easy so this is going to apply skills that you have learned in these three books in a difficult problem and that is why it is a good book to solve okay apart from that if you want some theory to be revised theory which you are not able to get clarification on in the class or by reading any other book Resting Holiday is the again the bible for theory but this is very exhaustive believe me so do not just start reading Resting Holiday every day because it is going to consume a lot of time so it is time consuming a lot of time is uh, required right to read Resting Holiday so just do it in the bitten pieces so just read the concept which you are not comfortable with but do not just sit with Resting Holiday all the time and uh, waste your time so this is the basic analysis of the physics that i would love you people to do Physics is all about concepts rather than solving questions. So concepts are the most important factor here. I would say you have to solve problems. No doubt about it. Problems are the most important fact. But if you are not able to understand the concepts, we can trick you with a very simple problem using the concepts. Okay. So concepts are much more important. And if you have done all these books, I do not feel that there is any other need for any or any extra book at this point of time. Okay. Now let's come back to chemistry. So if we start with the chemistry chemistry as we know is uh, divided into physical organic and organic chemistry and for beginners ncert is a very 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 good test book believe me it's error free so even if you go i have seen people who do abc i don't know what are the names abc modern uh, they also have pradeep so these books are good reference books but they are again uh, very very exhaustive and they contain a lot of error so i generally do not prescribe them they contain a lot of error right all all three of them okay in in fact if somebody has to ask then i'll refer pradeep in that case if out of these three okay but if you want to do some really good challenging problems for let's say even for iit j right mains also so for if we uh, talk about uh, say there are some queries with me which where the students are sir which books are good for j mains which are good for uh, j advanced so if you have to do this bracket must do is basically for mains also these books are basically for advanced right this is basically which will uh, if you do them all this will land you up a rank of less than 100 right this is the target which we are following in this video so for physical what you can do is you these are the three books which are very famous in the market and all of them are go good so we are not taking famous books rather in the video we are taking those books which are actually very good so op tandon rc mukherjee or p bahadur for physical chemistry pick any one of them all of them are brilliant books to solve don't buy all the three this is a please a request from my side don't buy all three just buy one book solve it completely that is more important solve completely because that will cover the entire range of questions that could be asked from a particular chapter in the physical chemistry and that is very scoring we will be able to get hold of all the concepts a physical chemistry question can ask if you solve completely any one of these right so any one of these is the relation do not buy all the three books it is not going to help okay any one of these anyway okay so organic chemistry if i talk about so there are lot of books for organic chemistry for mechanism so which book i would prefer you is lg weight so this book is very concise why i am prescribing this this is very concise and this in fact you can trace down the mechanisms also so if you are short of time you can just 
see the index and directly go to the point where the mechanism is talked about other than that i do love morrison boyd that is a very very good book for uh, again organic chem chemistry i love this author i have read it at my time but lg weight is even much more crisp and concise if i compared with morrison boyd morrison boyd you will have to read it completely to get hold of the concept but uh, it is uh, lg weight is more tilted towards iit pattern than morrison boyd if i talk about uh, finar also people do read uh, il finar also so il finar is uh, more of experimental and this is more of conceptual right so you must know that there are two fields in chemistry that is one is experimental chemistry and one is theoretical or the conceptual chemistry so morrison is uh, based on conceptual and il finar is more based on experimental so if you are confused in uh, a particular question which provides two answers and even a teacher can give you two answers so if you are stuck up in that scenario go to the library look for il finar and find solution there because that is experimental but even you would not be required to do so because iit is not going to ask you any such questions which are having this kind of discrepancy where the conceptual knowledge says something else and whereas the experimental actual output says something else so it is not going to get into that so you can just leave this apart for any other uh, if we talk about organic any book for question practice will do you can do orient as well but keep in mind that this book uh, orient publish uh, publication might have some errors so you need to cross check with the uh, a peer group or a faculty or a teacher for some help for organic chemistry ncrt is your bible please do this very religiously each and every word each every word right this is the thing that you have to do i have already said for beginners also that ncrt is the main for physical organic and inorganic but for inorganic this is bible in fact j advance cannot even ask questions which are outside the scope of ncrt so that's a very very uh, good thing to do okay all right so usme dekhe aage badhte to agar hame ye ho jati hai ye cheeze ye khud mein bahut badi cheeze hai choti cheeze nahi hai but if you still want more practice more tough questions so this is for more tough practice right if you want more questions which are of higher level so you can do ms chauhan for organic chemistry this is again a good book but what i do not like about this this only contains exception so this sometimes gives you demotivations also but if you have done lg weight and some a basic book of uh, question practice then you can go to ms chauhan and then you will automatically understand that this contains a lot of exception based questions so you will not get bogged down but if you directly jump to ms chauhan you will feel that you have understood the concept but answers are not coming so don't directly jump to this book jd lee is a very good book very very good book to do for an organic chemistry but you have to do it in a very concise way which is something very much related to the concept so if you are not even able to do jd lee that's not a big deal that's not a big problem don't worry about it and for physical you can do narendra avasti for physical uh, in fact i would say that if you have done all these three this you will find this book much easier to solve you will not find too many difficult questions for uh, practice okay so this is all about chemistry you can do uh, any jumbled up book uh, a mixed bag book right you can do a mixed bag book a uh, mixed bag basically mixed bags are good for tmh publication after your course is complete you can just for revision you can just go on and do a tmh book start solving it it will be a very good practice coming to my portion that is maths here so maths if again if i do uh, and talk about the beginners and a must ncrt and rd sharma so nc rd sharma for class 11th and class 12th please believe me these are the most important books even for your uh, boards as well as for your uh, iitj preparation so do not do not skip them they are most important books if you are not able to solve rd sharma just imagine how you are going to solve all these books which are written down under okay so rd sharma is a must okay and i'll talk about which particular chapters rd sharma is very good at okay a must do book which i believe and this is a lot of students which have asked me sir we just want a j mains level book right if they want a j mains level rd sharma objective this comes in two volumes volume 1 and volume 2 this is a wonderful book for in fact i would say clarity of concepts though it has some errors don't uh, don't just completely go and uh, make it a bible so clarity of concepts in maths a basic basic level right again i would say it's a basic level th stuff okay so this is a really very good book to solve if you want a mastery of j mains level at uh, iit j mains okay if you can solve this you will not find problems which 
uh, at the examination where you are not even able to think of what to do you will be able to immediately start solving the question if a question is tough you might get stuck but if a question is of an easy or medium category by doing this book i believe you will be able to solve this if you do want to do a topic level mastery so this is for topic level mastery of the subjects okay then these are the very famous books and which have been famous or which have been very good for the last 15 odd years so for coordinate geometry if you want to do sk goel is the book so uh, there have been a lot of books which have come into the market which are of based of objective pattern right they have come on the objective pattern but believe me they are nothing but a replica of all these which are written here so at our times also we used to read sk goel so these two authors basically used to write subjective books right so they are basically famous for their subjective uh, questions so but believe me all the objective questions which are made are nothing but the subjective of these and i would rather say that in maths please focus on subjective problems also if your target is advanced so do solve sk goel completely not just their uh, there is a new pattern uh, which i am written here also for by ms sk goel just don't solve it if you are solving coordinate geometry solve each and every problem so it contains objective type uh, multiple correct type uh, passage based subjective all problems if your target is to score a 100 rank under 100 rank at iit advanced not mains right this is the books to solve so for calculus you cannot get a better book than um, uh, written by mr amit m agarwal one of the best books which has continued to be the one of the best for the last uh, 15 or 20 odd years algebra again you can find uh, by mr sk goel these all three books are from aryan publication so you can just go and mastery all these things uh, from uh, these uh, particular authors for trigo and uh, vector 3d i will again say stick back to rd sharma so rd sharma means this book also and this book also you do not need to solve uh, i would say sl loni so a lot of people do tend to do sl loni i i would say you, it's no doubt it's a brilliant book but a lot of good questions from sl loni has already been taken into consideration in rd sharma so if you just ask any of your friend who has done sl loni and if he ask you a question i am 90% sure so out of 10 questions nine questions you will be able to find an rd sharma which is in the salt category okay so there is no need to waste a lot of time doing sl loni or uh, people do holland knight also uh this is again a very good book but i would have prescribed holland knight in much earlier classes let's say 9th and 10th right rather than in classes 11th and 12th because uh, uh, now you need much more evolved question so if i talk about maths in maths iit j advance is something very different from what foreign authors ask so for an example in organic chemistry the mechanisms which are there are best explained by foreign authors for example if we want to compare it with maths the questions kind of question that are asked at iit advance they has to resonate with uh, these kind of books okay so they do not resonate very well with holonite eselonis of the world okay uh, for the mixed back questions again uh, again if you want uh, so tmh is the mixed back book which you can fall brilliant book i would say or either new pattern itj again a very good book so this is more than sufficient in fact there is a lot of list that you have to do in here there is a lot of stuff but again the order remains the same please do not mix the order so order is important you have to go from here to here you cannot directly jump to this particular category over here don't do this okay so order is much more important and as i have already told you please do not make a heap of books bring books from the market which you are actually doing at this point of time so for example if uh, uh, in your coaching institute or if while you are preparing in your calendar it's algebra that is going on so you just bring the book of algebra and start solving it once you enter the coordinate geometry then you bring the coordinate geometry book and then and this is how this is thing has to be done do not just go to the market once and uh, come back with a list of 10 books that is please not going to help you you will fancy your chances of getting into iit by doing this but believe me it is the thing which is done by 99% students so if you are into that particular category to aap kya hain bhid ka hissa भीड़ का हिस्से की तरह काम करेंगे तो आपका रिजल्ट भी भीड़ के लायक ही आएगा दैट इज यू विल नॉट बी इन दी टॉप वन परसेंट आइल बट यू विल बी इन दी रिमेनिंग नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट आइल ओनली टॉप वन परसेंट गेट इन टू परसेंट आइल गेट इन टू दी टॉप कॉलेज ऑफ द कंट्री ओके सो डू नॉट बी अ भीड़ का हिस्सा थिंक प्रॉपरली थिंक मेच्योरली एवरी थिंग इज देयर इन द वीडियो विच एन हाउ टू डू एंड देर आर लॉट ऑफ अदर प्रिपेरेटरी टॉक्स विच आई हैव डन इन दी अदर वीडियोज सो डोंट जस्ट मिस आउट ऑन or in false traps or false myths or even by teachers who used to you know entrap students by giving them false uh, uh, 
claims don't do that and at the end if you feel we are doing good to the society please subscribe to your uh, to our uh, youtube channel and facebook po uh, page this is just a token that we are serving you and your vote counts as a motivation for us all right thank you guys keep working hard keep promoting us